okay let's use the move tool to use the move tool select the move tool from here or you can use the shortcut which is w click on the object now you can see there's the uh, move tool manipulator you can use this manipulator to move your object inside the view and now this manipulator is aligned to the world axis world axis means this axis is aligned to the world right. so now you can see there are three different arrows and there are some squares there and uh, there's a square at the middle so let me tell you how this manipulator works if i want to move my object in x axis in this direction which is left to right i can just hold this red arrow and just drag drag the object by holding your left mouse and drag let me undo this again once any axis is selected it turns to yellow yellow means that axis is selected right now you don't have to click once and then drag just hold your mouse put your mouse on top of that you can see the pre selection highlight is there and then hold your left mouse and drag it's a single drag see just i'm putting my mouse no, don't select anything just drag okay so i can move my objects by dragging these three arrows okay then there are some squares the squares means a two axis move the, uh, it allows you to move your object in a plane let me tell you that if i hold here if i put my mouse cursor here and move the object you can see there are two axes highlighted it's one is x and y that means my object is being moved right now in these two axes i can up down my object or i can left right i cannot move my object back and forth right now which is the z axis is not selected right now so it's a two axis move if i want to move my object in x and z at the same time but i don't want to move up and down i can select this plane it works like the same thing like if i move here and then the z to reach this area or i can hold this area it works the same uh, right now i'm moving my object in these two x x and z and not moving my object up down so it sometimes this these planes are very useful and there's the last option the center move this square if i put my mouse cursor it turns yellow now if i move my object now my object is moving in all the three axes but i don't recommend to this option to the beginners because uh, what happens is if you move for example if you want to move your object in x and if you put here and drag it didn't move only in x axis it's went down and in z it's changing so uh, there, there would be a lot of confusion so uh, for the beginners don't use this uh, as you go along with maya and you're comfortable with maya you can use this option but you can use this option in this three view because again uh, in this three view only two axes are assessed like you can assess only two axes for example in front view i can only have the y and x axis z axis is gone there i cannot move in z uh, inside the front view so it's safe in this three view but it's not safe to move in the prospective view just keep that in mind and so this is the way to move your object through the manipulator and let me tell you the other option which, which is the channel box if you notice the channel box now has some values if i put zero there just drag and just put zero and enter now my object again gone back to went back to the origin so origin is the zero area if i want to move my object in x axis but exactly 10 units in 10 grid lines i can put 10 here so this is also a way to move your objects it you doesn't have to be specific again you can just click here on the name and hold your middle mouse in the view and drag you can do this as well it's very useful sometimes and let me tell you the steps more if you double click on the move you can see there's a step snaps option and now it's off you just click here and just make relative or absolute now if you move you can see it's it's moving but in a snappy way like 
it's moving in one one units increment i can change this value to anything i want and for example now it's moving like five units in interval sometimes it's very useful for example if you want to duplicate evenly your object go to edit menu and just duplicate here and you can again move and for duplicate you can also use ctrl d again move ctrl d again move you can notice something now place very evenly by using the step snap option here because it's moved the object from that location to five units again from that location to five units sometimes you may find this useful and there is also the option of snapping your grid while you move this is the snap to grid option here on the status line this first snapping option but if you selected this option which is the snap to grid option now you move now it's snapping to every grid it's very useful for this you have also a shortcut which is x and uh, the next thing i want to tell you is the access orientation of move tool so uh, now you can see the access orientation of move tool is set to world so world means now the manipulator is aligned to the world axis i can move as the world axis let me turn off the step for example i have rotated my object don't worry about rotate tool i'll tell you and i want to move the object in that manner my axis is still aligned to wall axis to align my move tool axis to my object orientation i need to set it to the object mode what it does is when it's object it's it sees its rotation and it rotates the manipulator according to that so now you can see i can move the object along that axis that orientation okay that's it for this lesson in the next lesson we are going to see the rotate tool